And for the last time here, we're going to look at the slope of a line. So what is the slope of the line pictured below? And what we've been given here is a graph. We can call it a graph. We can call this thing a Cartesian coordinate plane, or often it's called an XY plane because we have that X value, X axis there and the Y axis there. The two lines cross forming a plane. Um, so, but we're looking for slope of the line and we've been given a graph. And the easiest way to do that is just to count your rise over your run. Slope again is a measure of steepness, rise over run. But I want you to notice what we have here again. Once again, we've been given a special line. This is one of our special lines. This is the line known as a horizontal line. Like the horizon, like the horizon, it stretches from left to right, a horizontal line. And I remember it because of that word horizon. Okay, so um, I have to tell you the truth. I just have it memorized that I know that the slope of a horizontal line, all horizontal lines, flat lines have a slope of zero. And I think this really should make sense because remember that slope is just a measure of steepness. If you were walking on a flat surface like this and I said to you, how steep is the road? You'd tell me it's not steep. There's no slope to it. It's a flat road. It makes sense that it has a slope of zero. But just in case you don't believe me, let's do it mathematically because the math that we do, rise over run, had better match the uh, truth that we can see that this is not a sloping line. There's no slope to this line at all. So let's just imagine that just like usual of the graph, we grab two points. So there's two points right there. Let's look at our rise. How much have I gone up or down? Well, you can see that as I move from this point to this point, I did not move up or down. There was no rise at all. And the two particular points that I chose, um, if I move from this point, which is on zero, to this point, which is on five, then I've run five. Now, any time you take the number zero and you put it over anything, remember that uh, to put a number over to use a fraction bar means the same as divide. So it's like we're taking zero divided by five. Anytime you divide zero by anything, I have no money and I want to share it among five friends. Uh, that's the, a scenario here. Well, how much money are we all going to get? We're going to have nothing. Zero divided by anything is just zero. And so no matter where you would have uh, picked two points on this graph, it would always be a zero rise over whatever run. We're always going to get zero. And so I proved to you mathematically what I hope you now realize to be true, and I would just hope that you memorize, that horizontal lines always have a slope of zero.